Hey, Jon Snow here. Real quick, right off, right off the start, just grab this turret, detach it, and take it down uh, to the uh, to the left of where the turret is facing. Uh, when you pick up the turret to the left of the direction you'll be facing, and just use it near this piece of cover. It's the drones. It's a pretty good piece of cover. You can duck behind it uh, if your shields start to get taken down, but the drones will mostly focus on the marines that are down below. Um, this is the fourth mission, the storm for the Halo 3 uh, achievement walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. This is the second part of 3. Um, yeah, grab a rocket launcher. I, I, I was really debating which weapon to swap out for the rocket launcher. I, I went with the sniper rifle. Uh, there's two ways you can do the upcoming section, which is the part on the mongoose, and then uh, that that culminates in the battle against the scarab. And there's actually, um, uh, there's kind of two ways to approach the fight against the scarab, and then and on, for one of the ways, there's two ways to go about it. Once you do that, real quick, um, I always like to choose the first mongoose that the one that's closest to you. Uh, it, it just seems lucky for me. Uh, these guys have uncanny aim. On the, I mean, he just he just hit a moving chopper out. I've had them shoot banshees out of the air. I've had them shoot uh, ghosts that are boosting over a jump. But um, you do need to be a little careful because while they do have amazing aim, they're idiots. They will shoot at something even if there's a rock in the way, or even if you are literally an inch away from whatever it is they're shooting at. So, you have to be careful where you drive, because you can trust them to shoot accurately, but you can't trust them to shoot smartly. Um, so, when you're trying to take down those wraiths, you have to be careful uh, to stay a distance away, like away from the wraiths um, because your marine will sometimes shoot the wraith while you're right next to it and the explosion can and will kill you like you saw my marine just shot a banshee out of the air something that's pretty damn difficult to do um, again that that one just shot that ghost right off the ground uh, just keep driving around in circles. I like to make just a little circuit around here, kind of like a, a big figure eight, because it really because there's so many uh, mongooses, it'll just keep the uh, enemies off of you. Now, oh wow, looks like someone took out a phantom. That's impressive. Uh, drive the mongoose up here as soon as they as soon as the guys start talking about some as soon as Johnson says something big, close it in on your position. Drive up to here. Um, and then once the screen kind of goes like this and it says judgment, that means the scarabs now appeared. And head on over. I just chose the missile turret on the right. Now, on the easy difficulty, this works, and it might also work on the normal difficulty, uh, if you can pull it off very quickly. But as soon as the scarab appears, if you've got, uh, if you, you can do it pretty quickly. And, wow, looks like a little bit of frame rate lag there. Um that kind of blue glowing thing on the background that's kind of like sticking out. Just keep firing away at that. I was being an utter idiot and just screwing around. But that blue thing that's sticking out from the front, you can see it. It's right under the eyeball turret. Keep shooting at that. And as soon as it um, disappears, lower your aim a little bit. Uh, and you'll actually lock on to the engine. If you And if you even just hit that with like one or two shots... It'll automatically kill the scarab, and if you're and if you get it quick enough, you can kill the scarab before it even uh, turns around to start attacking you. If you don't do this though, then that gives you um, two strategies. First strategy, and the one I use, which works quite well on legendary, is to just keep firing away at one leg until the scarab just stops moving uh, and it hunches down to the ground. And when it does this. Uh, the front part of the scarab is close enough to the ground that you can jump on it. And then once on the scarab, you can, um, you can just go in and, and literally just melee the engine core to take the scarab out. The other way to do it, which takes a lot 
which can take a lot longer or a much shorter time. It it's kind of just luck dependent. Right now, the scarab is just um, on the ground, like, and you'll know when it's going in because there's this loud beep, beep, beep sound, and the scarab will just hunch the ground and stop moving. And I do have a little trouble jumping on it, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, the part that's low enough to the ground that you can get to. I I was just having some trouble, and then I like backed off of it or something. And I don't know. Yeah, backed off it. The rocket launcher is really good um, for clearing out the enemies that are on top of it. Um, uh, so is the battle rifle at times. Um, but the rocket launcher, you just have to be careful because sometimes you'll just be right next to it and you can... You almost got killed by the spike grenade. Uh, and if you, you know, hit someone who's right next to you, that'll kill you. The other strategy uh, are there are these two elevators that you can board. And one of them, uh, and, bo uh, and both of them lead up to these playing platforms. One of them has a sniper rifle above it. And from those platforms, you can fairly easily uh, take out the people that are on top of the uh, scarab using the sniper rifle. It's actually kind of fun to try and snipe to this moving object. Um, instead of more often than not, you're moving, it's you're trying to snipe something that's moving around. As soon as you kill a scarab, just head back on and, conti and continue onward. I'm not quite sure where that damaged phantom went. I just grabbed the mongoose. I, I was going to grab one to go a little faster or something. I'm not quite sure what I was doing there. And then, once the scarab passes under one of the elevators, you can just jump onto it and take it out that way. But it's very fickle. A lot of times, it'll be under the other elevator. And then, once you get down from yours, it'll head over to it. It's It doesn't work very well. Um, grab this turret here, and you're going to use that mainly. This battle actually ends right before you fight the hunters. Oh, wow. Uh, um, this is a long video. <sighs> Almost nine minutes. Uh, the next video is going to have the fight against the uh, hunters. Grab the turret, and that's going to be your main weapon for the first uh, few brutes that you fight. Uh, and you just want to keep just pushing forward and just unload on them. Again, there's no like really bad kickback or anything from this. That's really a problem. Um... And as soon as you've eliminated most of the brutes from that, just drop the turret. Head up onto this left section. It gives you a good height uh, on the brutes and just pop two missiles in them. Uh, uh, save, save anywhere from two to four rockets. Once you're down to two, like you've got no reloads left, do not use any more because they're going to be what the main weapon you're using against the hunters which you can take out you can take out each of them with just a single shot from the rocket launcher um, and I'm just throwing a couple of grenades to try and take out these brutes uh, and I'm using mostly spike grenades because there are some humans um, around here and I and the spike grenades are very uh, precise uh, video's almost over. The next one has the fight with the hunters, and I will see you then.